a sister says, my son has a disorder which affects his mental ability to carry out tasks coherently. It is of an autistic nature. Is he obliged to pray and complete the pillars of Islam? And me, as his mother, should I do more to help him get a better understanding of Islam? Am I going to be sinful if I don't do this? He is 14, but has the mental age of five years old. Autism was not found, or at least was not identified at the time of the Prophet ﷺ as it is today. It is stated that 1% of the children born are autistic. And there are levels of autism. There is a defici deficiency of 25%, a 50%, 75%. And psychiatrists and people that deal with such illnesses say that it ranges from inability to communicate with others, to look them straight in the eyes, to understand basic things, to a full range of disability that renders a person insane. So how do we judge such people? Well, in Islam, the Prophet ﷺ told us that the accountability pen it has been uplifted from a person who is insane until he regains his sanity. So we have to now look at sh such a child or a boy who is autistic. Now, 14 years of age could have easily reached the age of puberty. So let's assume that he is an adult physically. If the person is five years brain uh, uh, um, wise, in this case, he's a child. He doesn't know what's good and what's bad for him. He's unable to take a good decision. He can't tell whether the person is a relative or evil. In this case, he's not accountable. You're not supposed to teach him how to pray or how to fast, and you're not obliged to force him to fast. He's not accountable. If the person has the ability to know what prayer is and how important it is, and he can make certain decisions for himself where he is not anymore classified as insane, or does not have intellect. No, he is. But in a way, he can't write. He can't communicate with teachers or strangers. But he understands. He knows that fire is hot. And he knows that when you're hungry, you eat. And how to prepare. He has this sanity in him. In this case, he's accountable. He must be taught how to fast and ordered to fast. And he must also be taught how to pray. And he is to be ordered to pray as well with the Muslims. So I hope this uh, answers your question. Maybe you would ask, what about if he is sometimes like this and sometimes like that? This, the scholars give an example of partial insanity. A person who uh, all of a sudden just clicks and becomes insane for half a day or a day. And then the following day, he's fine. He's communicating. He's uh, 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 talking to you with logic. So when he's insane, he's not accountable. Once he's awake, then he must pray and fast. And Allah knows best.